And another organization that I think deserves just as high level of praise is Scotiabank. Uh, Mr. Noel, I would like to welcome you to the podium to say a few words, but I would also like everybody else to join and salute Scotia Bank with a round of applause, a standing ovation actually, because the work that they've been doing has been stellar. Could you please? <laughs> Scotia Bank, thank you very much. And I'd like, please take your seats. And I'd like to welcome now Mr. David Noel, the Managing Director of Scotiabank Caribbean East, to the podium. As Dr. Leacock said, Scotiabank is a model of corporate philanthropy, having responded to this initiative from day one in 2008. We salute them for their commitment to HIV when others have moved on. And we would certainly like to honor them in 2017 when this initiative will reach the significant milestone of its 10th anniversary. Mr. Noel, welcome to the podium. Honorable Minister, Mr. Hoyt, Dr. Leacock, all the distinguished speakers and guests. It's a pleasure to be here this morning and I'll keep my remarks brief. First of all, Regional Testing Day is important to all of us at Scotiabank. It's one of our largest philanthropic activities across the region and it's something that we are proud to be associated with. It involves many Scotiabank branches across over 21 countries and it's really something that not only as an organization we're proud of, a number of Scotiabank employees volunteer their time and efforts every year to support regional testing the activities across the region. So it's something that's very important to us. And over the past nine years that we've been associated with Regional Testing Day, Scotiabank has contributed over one million US dollars to either direct sponsorship or activation activities. And that's something that we believe is important for us to do. It's important for us to give back to the communities in which we live and work. And this is having a real impact on the lives of people in the Caribbean. And so it's something that we will continue to support. Our global HIV strategy is designed around helping to reduce discrimination and remove the stigma associated with HIV. And we want to help do that through education and awareness. And the success of any initiative like this is not measured by the financial contribution, you know, how much you've put in. It's really measured by the impact you're having on the communities. And we have had a challenge in the Caribbean with getting people to go and get an HIV test done whether it's through fear or some sort of apprehension, that's been a real ch challenge to people knowing their status. And I really want to congratulate Dr. Leacock and her team and all the regional testing bodies for the work that they've done to change that stigma and to encourage people to get tested. We thought that one way we could contribute outside of the financial contribution was to open up our branches to allow the public and our customers to be tested. And that way we thought we could add visibility, but we could also send a message to everyone. Knowing your status is as normal and as simple as knowing your bank account balance. And so when Dr. Leacock says those numbers, over 70,000 people tested across the Caribbean, 16,000 people tested last year alone, and getting to 100,000 people by next year, that's having a direct impact on the lives of people. You know, that's making a difference. So congratulations to you and your team. And you have our, our pledge to continue to support that initiative. And that's having, again, it's about saving lives. When you look at the statistics, the number of new AIDS cases, and this is UNAIDS um, research, in the Caribbean over the last, say, 10 years, from 20, 2005 to 2015, has decreased by about 40%. And the deaths related to HIV has declined by a half. And I can think of no better way or no better cause for us to be associated than a cause that's helping to achieve those sorts of results. And so, as I, as I end my remarks, one thing I'm going to ask all of you here today, all of you listening, all of you viewing, know your status. It's important for you all to know where you stand. You cannot protect yourselves or your family members if you don't know your status. And research has shown that far too many people in the world, despite this epidemic being around for more than 30 years, still don't know their status. And the majority of people living with HIV don't know that they have it. So I'll encourage you to go to a testing center, encourage your family, friends, and colleagues to get tested, and continue to lend your support 
to removing discrimination and removing the stigma, stigma associated with HIV AIDS. So thank you all and congratulations again to you, all the partners, all the supporters for the fantastic work you're doing to, with this important cause. Thank you.